Ladies and gentlemen, good day and welcome to the Supreme Industries Q3 FY 2022 earnings conference call hosted by Dam Capital Advisors Limited. As a reminder, all participant lines will be in the listen only mode. And there will be an opportunity for you to ask questions after the presentation concludes. Should you need assistance during the conference call, please signal an operator by pressing the star then zero on your touchstone phone. Please note that this conference is being recorded. I now hand over the conference over to Mr. Asim Bharde of Dam Capital. Thank you and over to you, Mr. Bharde. Thanks, Peter. Uh, good evening, everyone. And on behalf of Dam Capital Advisors, I extend a warm welcome to all of you here for Supreme Industries Q3 results call. I would like to thank the management for giving us the opportunity to host them today. From the company side, we have Mr. M.P. Taparia, Managing Director, Mr. P.C. Somani, Chief Financial Officer, and Mr. Rajendra Sabu, VP Corporate Affairs and Company Secretary. I will ha now hand over the floor to Mr. Taparia for his opening remarks and post that we can open the floor for Q&A. Thank you and over to you, Mr. Taparia. Thank you very much, dear friend. Thank you. Uh, I am MP Taparia, Managing Director of the Supreme Industry Limited. I, along with my colleagues, Sri P.C. Somani, Chief Finance Officer, and Sri R.J. Sabu, Vice President and Company Secretary, Welcome all the participants who are participating in the discussion of the unaudited stand alone and consolidated financial result for the quarter and nine months ended 31st December 2021. The stand alone results and the consolidated results are already with you. I'll be brief on the company product operating performance and other highlights. The company sold 91,364 tons of plastic goods and achieved net product turnover of Rs. 1,895 crore during the third quarter of the current year against sale of 111,584 tons of plastic goods and achieved net product turnover of Rs. 1,766 crore in the corresponding quarter of the previous year, resulting in volume degrowth of around 18% and product value growth of around 7%. The company sold 2,65,301 tonnes of plastic goods and achieved net product turnover of Rs. 5,106 crore during nine months of the current year, against sale of 2,97,871 ton and net product turnover of Rs. 4,128 crore in the corresponding nine months of previous year, resulting in volume degrowth of about 11% and product value growth of about 24%. Total consolidated income and operating profit for the third quarter of the current year amounted to Rs. 1,948 crore and Rs. 369 crore as compared to Rs. 1,848 crore and Rs. 454 crore of the corresponding quarter of the previous year, resulting in consolidated income increase of around 5% and operating profit decrease of around 19%. Total consolidated income and operating profit for the nine months of the current year amounted to Rs. 5,227 crore and Rs. 985 crore as compared to Rs. 4,281 crore and Rs. 850 crore for the corresponding period of the previous year regarding increase of about 22% and 16% respectively. The consolidated profit before tax and profit after tax for the third quarter of the current year amounted to Rs. 314 crore and Rs. 246 crore as compared to Rs. 401 crore 
and rupees 312 crore for the corresponding quarter of the previous year, resulting decrease of 22% and 21% respectively. The consolidated profit before tax and profit after tax for the nine months of the current year amounted to rupees 823 crore and rupees 645 crore as compared to rupees 684 crore and rupees 528 crore for the corresponding period of the previous year, recording increase of about 20% and 22% respectively. The business scenario of all the product segments of the company for the third quarter of the current year ended December 31st, 2021 as compared to corresponding quarter in the previous year has been as under. Plastic piping system business degrew by 25% in volume and grew by 1% in value term. Packaging product segment business degrew by 1% in volume and grew by 16% in value term. Industrial product segment business grew by 6% in volume and 26% in value term. Consumer product segment business grew by 18% in volume and grew by 9% in value term. The overall turnover of value added product decreased to rupees 665 crore during the current third quarter as compared to rupees 758 crore in the corresponding period of previous year, resulting degrowth of around 12%. The company has cash surplus fund of rupees 148 crore as on 31st December 2021, as against cash surplus fund or rupees 331 crore as on 30th September 2021. Business outlook. The polymer prices were extremely volatile in the quarter. Starting in November, PVC prices have dropped by rupees 25, that is 15% per kilo. The prices of other polymer also swung wildly during the quarter. Such a swing in the prices affected overall demand for the product. The product where demand was driven strongly by distributors have seen large scale destocking in the quarter. Due to extended rainfall period in the quarter, the demand for agricultural infrastructure was also deferred. Due to supply chain disruption, the company had suffered degrowth in CPC pipe system business. There was a steep fall in the sale of plastic pipe system, furniture, and packaging products. Overall, the company's volume sale has gone down by around 18%. As the prices is stabilized and on recovery path, the distributed channel has started functioning normally. The company expects good volume growth in the fourth quarter in most of its businesses. The company's progress in putting a plant at Guwahati, Katak, and Erode are now moving. All these plants will be operational between April to August this year. The start of delayed due to supply chain disruption due to COVID-19 pandemic. The same is now ebbing down. Material handling division has shown 17% volume growth. Company continues to add new product range and deepen the market reach in this division. Furniture division has shown 18% volume degrowth during the quarter as the demand was quite weak. The composite cylinder has issued an encouraging response from Indian consumers, which expected surge in demand from domestic sources and also from international market. The company is keeping itself ready to double its capacity from existing 5 lakh cylinder per annum to 10 lakh cylinder per annum at the existing plant site in Gujarat in a span of eight to nine months. The demand for performance packaging film has shown 50% growth in volume, mostly from export market. Due to chip shortage, industry component business has degrown in the quarter by 3.5% in volume. The company's ramdal cost has gone quite high in close laminate film division. The revised increase in prices of company product have gone into effect with a time lag only by January 2022. 
This has affected the margin of this product segment steeply in the quarter. There was demand destruction in this segment due to look alike competitor products with quite inferior properties. Company is confident that demand will revive for its product because the consumer will know the real value of look alike products. Protective packaging business has shown a degrowth of 10% in volume. The company envisaged capex plan of Rs. 521 crore for the current year, including credit for the commitment of previous year, is going smoothly. Company's initiative of launching of several new products and systems in its various segments have been received positively. With the COVID-19 pandemic now moving toward endemic, the company is quite optimistic of good business growth in the fourth quarter and the coming year. This is a brief and overall summary for the quarter and nine months of the year under reference. Thank you for your patience. Now I and my colleagues APC Somani and CRJ Sabu are available to reply to various queries raised by all of you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We will now begin the question and answer session. Anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and one on your touchstone telephone. If you wish to remove yourself from the question queue, you may press star and two. Participants are requested to use handsets while asking a question. In the interest of time and fairness to all participants, please restrict questions to two per participant. If you still have more questions, Please join the queue afresh. Ladies and gentlemen, we will wait for a moment while the question queue assembles. The first question is from the line of Sujit Jain with ASK Investment Managers Limited. Please go ahead. Um, hi, sir. Just wanted to check uh, whether we've uh, you know lost the market share, and your commentary on CPVC that in terms of supplies uh, there were supply chain disruptions. Uh, would the other players also have faced the same thing? Thank you. No, I we don't think that we have suffered any erosion of our market share. The market shrunk in the com in the country itself. And supply chain disruption was relevant to our import of CPVC. The CPVC in India is a very small quantity produced. The market in India is 15,000 ton per month. The local production is less than 1,000 ton per month. So most of the quantities are imported from Japan or USA. And there was too much uh, 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 unexpected delay in vessels in the ship to arrive to the port, which has affected the supply position with our company, and we believe the same thing must have happened with other companies also. So thank you, but you are saying that, you know, the plastics industry, plastic pipes would have degrown by the extent of 24-25% uh, and therefore you have not uh, lost market share. Just to confirm. No, I I told that we have get degrowth in this quarter, but this is only my dealers have reduced their stocks. Now they have started now replenishing their stock. So I will recover whatever I quantity I lost, I will recover in this quarter. Sure. Sure. Okay. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Rahul Agarwal with Incred Capital. Please go ahead. Yeah, hi, good evening. Uh, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity. Yeah, so two you. questions. So two questions. One was, is there any inventory loss this quarter? Sorry? Was there any inventory loss booked in the quarter? In the quarter, there has to be some inventory loss. For correct inventory loss, we will calculate and give you in April only. 
अच्छा एनी अप्रोक्सीमेट आइडिया सर नॉट मच आइडिया बिकॉज नवंबर दिसंबर व्हेन द डिमांड ऑफ पाइप एंड फिटिंग इरोडेड सो मच और सेल इज गोन डाउन सो इट कुड नॉट एफेक्टेड टू मच द लॉस व्हाट इज दॉट देयर कुड नॉट हैव कम इन आवर बुक्स ऑफ अकाउंट and now the pc price is started going up got it sir currently we can check to you in the month of april when we close the final account the for the whole year what was the inventory gain or inventory loss last year as you are aware we gained 200 crore inventory this year yes, the third number will be known only in the month of april got it sir so second question was on the volume decline Uh, so you were explaining that since you have degrown about 25% in the quarter right on plastic pipes so I, your understanding is the industry would have also degrown with the same number i can't say about the industry but overall company was struggling to sell the goods so company gave the scheme of 5 rupees in the month of december and 4 rupees in the month of january so they want to liquidate their stock imports are coming down so definitely the demand has gone down with everybody we will be getting the working of the other three public limited companies very shortly you will know what is their position so we are one of the we and finalists are the largest player in pvc piping system in the country got it sir so as of now in fourth quarter you think the entire loss of third quarter will normalize or all these volumes are actually lost we have to capture the lost quantity okay and any specific reason for consumer products to decline by 20% uh, like the demand was weak you mentioned but could you give some more other things very poor demand in tier 2 and tier 3 towns maybe due to the buying power and also the marriage in mass also quite slow there is no large marriage taking place no big hotels are functioning our our okay. uh, furniture are sold in restaurant hotels And uh, in this uh, decorator segment, and all we are going through a very tough time. Okay, got it, sir. Thank you so much. I'll come back in the queue. Thank you. Thank you. The next question comes from Vitesh Shah with Invest Tech. Please go ahead. Uh, hi, sir. Thanks for the opportunity. Uh, sir, two questions. Uh, one is on the volume decline, specifically for the piping division. Uh, you indicated around 25-26 percent volume decrease. Uh, sir, would it be possible for you to give a monthly color on how the decline was? Because what we understood November was bad because of rain. Uh, so, if one had to understand, say, for October, November, and December, just to understand how the demand has projected, how it has moved from November to December, that's one. And secondly, sir, you indicated that the channel inventory is very low. Uh, sir, if you can help. Uh, Understand these two variables together to better understand the 26% volume degrowth. That would be great, sir. That's the first question. We lost the volume only in the month of November and December. October the prices went up. So October there was only small growth only. November our business of UC pipe has gone down by 70% in one month alone. Simultaneously, along with that, the fitting sale also has gone down. We will sell pipe system. So, in these two months, and due to extended rainfall, the demand by the infrastructure companies who were to lay the polythene pipe has been completely stalled. So, we have a loss in polythene pipe business, in PVC pipe system business, and in CP system also with a degrowth of three percent. Though the shift didn't arrive, so we could not supply the market the product what is required. So combined of all these, you see pipe and switching, CP system and polythene pipe system, we had a degrowth of around 19,500 ton in the quarter. Sir, you indicated 70% volume degrowth for November. Sir, so December was also a degrowth. No, only PVC pipe. Only PVC pipe in one month. Okay, and sir, December was also declining. This is a decline, but it's not decline. Overall decline was 19,500 ton in the three months. Correct, correct. Okay. Uh, sir, my second question is: How should one understand the realization per kg uh, and EBITDA per kg uh, for plastic piping? Uh, 
uh, it has improved beautifully on a sequential basis uh, from 27 rupees to 33 rupees. Uh, and the realization has also increased on a sequential basis. Now, if one looks at the resin prices, uh, is it a function that there was more element of sale in the first month of the quarter and then basically it declined very, very sharply? There, and there was less sale of PVC pipe. Okay. There was less sale of PVC pipe. PVC pipe is a low valuated item. Correct. So when the PVC pipe sale was volumized was lower, then overall valuation become better. Then is white. Okay. So basically fittings proportion was higher, that's what you are indicating, because CPVC was also decreased. I say PVC price demand was very low. The loss was 17,000 ton was only in PVC pipe. Okay. Okay. Oh, fine, sir. Sir, I'll join back the queue. Thank you so much. Thank you. The next question comes from the line of Bhargav Buddha Deba with Kotec Asset Management. Please go ahead. Yeah, good afternoon, team. Uh, sir, my first question is that uh, your value-added business uh, share has declined to about 34% versus 39% uh, in the second quarter. So what has led to this decline in uh, the share of value-added products? Close to eminent film business. What your business we have done in third quarter? Have been removed. It was so a much? in the last year, third quarter. In this year, third quarter, the margins were lower than 17%. Is it possible to highlight, sir, how much was the decline in the cross laminated film business? It was around 150 crore rupee business. We did a business 150 crore rupees, but the margins were lower than 17%. So, so is it that? It doesn't qualify to be a value added item. Okay. So we haven't been able to pass on the uh, RM inflation in this business. Is I, that I, the right? I indicated that they, we increased the price, whatever happened, the raw material price, but the increase took effect only from January this year. So from January, can we expect uh, uh, double-digit margins in the packaging business? No, double-digit is there even earlier, but now it will definitely go back to valuated item. This is what okay. we expect. Okay. In the current quarter, it will go back to value rate weakness. Okay. And sir, you also mentioned that there was some uh, competitor who came with a similar product uh, but inferior in quality. So how should we look into that? No, they are coming up, but their price are 20-25% lower. That is only a polythene film and move to a roller to give a corrugation, just like our film. But the properties are nowhere there compared to our property. So can you maybe realize that they are maybe getting it 25% cheaper, but it doesn't last. Okay. After they were there before we came also. They were there 30 years before. That okay. time they were not having corrugation. Now they are giving corrugation. They will be discovered. Can you okay. spend money from their hard-earned income? And so just one clarification, um, uh, you mentioned that PVC prices are on an up move, but as of now, the PVC prices in January have declined by about 9 rupees per kg, right? This, this month, they have dropped by net 8, uh, 8 rupees kilo. So okay. in first two months, they dropped by 25 rupees kilo. This month, up to 17, net net, after factoring all the schemes, went down by 8 rupees. And now, after 17, the pressure upward march. Acha, from now on, you think prices will go up? Already started. Acha, already started. Okay. The PVC is structurally short worldwide. The okay. pressure went very high, so they have to come to a proper level. In the drop only, there is silver lining. With the lower prices, the demand will burden up now. Pressure okay. dropping 33 rupees a kilo will give a great relief to all the customers of my product. Right, right. And this uh, reduced channel inventory in December, you think that was the channel had one of the lowest inventory for a long time in history? Is that fair to say? We believe that. Okay, okay great. Uh, and I'll come back in the future. All the very best. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Sonali Sargaonkar with Jeffries India. Please go ahead. 
So thank you for the opportunity. So my first question is regarding the current demand scenario. You mentioned that you expect across segments in Q4. So what are the key drivers that you are looking out for? And uh, any update on the channel inventory that you can see? Uh, have they started replenishing it back to say the Q2 level? All the demand factors, that is housing, agriculture, infrastructure, are in excellent shape. Now the price is coming down, when the farmers are able to afford, the crops are very good, the rents have subsided, we anticipate good demand now coming from farmers, infrastructure, the orders were there in the house. they were all waiting for the prices to come down so that they can start placing order. We started issuing orders already from the contractors. Housing and anyone is running quite well, you all are aware that housing is going through a good growth path, but because they were inventory in the pipeline, the inventory exhausted, so now the people are very desperate to get the product. And as the time passes, we anticipate good demand growth month after month. Right. So, so the inventory levels are back to Q2 levels? No, I can say that definitely inventory or not. Whatever business we lost, we'll recover in this quarter. Understand. Sir, and on the on the rural versus urban, how is the rural doing? Rural for uh, uh, PVC pipe, there is no issue. That's the only issue I told about the furniture. Got it. So my second question is, uh, any guidance you would like to give in terms of volumes or margins or probably a sustainable level of revenue growth and margins that you see in the coming years? We can talk, we have already told on the TV also that this year we anticipate our turnout to be in excess of 7,500 growth and our operating margin should be around 16%. Understand. So anything on volume growth? Volume growth as on today, we'll be happy if you can reach the last 10 numbers. Got it, sir. So we get a big, uh, uh, big decline in the volume. They already 32,000 ton in less in plastic goods compared to last year, in nine months. It's very difficult Got to recover the 32,000 ton in these three months. Understood, sir. Thank you. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Sneha Talreja with Edelweiss Securities. Please go ahead. Uh, thanks a lot for the opportunity, sir. My question is related to, again, the volume growth part. Uh, you also said there was a drop in agreed demand. Uh, could you quantify in generally in Q3 what is the percentage of sales coming in from uh, agree? I, I don't follow it because we, cannot, we have no possible to quantify what is the person of agriculture. No, no way. As, as my all investors are aware, our pipe we are sold agriculture pipe they are being used in the housing. So we have no way to quantify the percentage of agri, agri system, but we are a small player in agri compared to housing. Our main business housing in piping. So we can uh, largely believe that the drop in Q3 was majority because of the housing and infra like uh, you know decline, not much from the agri point of view. We told the decline was in piping system for three reasons. One was destocking. Secondly, extended period of rainfall where the farmers and infrastructure people have deferred the demand. And thirdly, due to supply chain disruption, our CPC business has shown it. Degrowth. There are three reasons well, yes. which led volume degrowth. Right. And sir, uh, I mean, you also mentioned that you've already started seeing increase in prices. Uh, so, have that increase already been translated even by the domestic producers in the market? For example, Reliance and all have already started taking increase, or you expect that in the coming, uh, you know, maybe uh, you know, we are up till now, but we know the market trend. We believe that from, from 1st February, the price will go up. So, what that means. Open Thank market you, indication, open market, the goods which are selling at a discount is now selling at a premium. Oh, that's helpful. Thank you. 
the next question is from the line of Girish Chaudhary with Spark Capital Advisors Private Limited. Please go ahead. Yeah, uh, hi, sir. Uh, thanks for the opportunity. Um, I have a question on uh, your EBITDA margins again. So on a, a per kg basis, we have seen a sequential improvement at the company like from 30 rupees to around 34, 35 rupees. Sir, 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 and, line, your, uh, your voice is garbled. The line is not clear. Please. Uh, one second, sir. Asim, just be clear, eh? because there is some, some carbling is happening. Oh. Uh, is this better? No, not better. Yes, please. Yeah, yeah. So, so, Shamaraji, uh, can you hear? Shamaraji? Yeah, sir. Yeah, I can hear. We can hear very can well. Yes, please. Very well. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Sir, I had a question on your uh, beta margin. So we have seen a sequential increment uh, at a company level uh, from 32, 34, 35 rupees per kg. And, and this, despite value-added products going down sequentially, and also you indicated there was an inventory loss. And then overall, we have seen a lower volume sequentially. So, so I think what drove this margin performance, and then also what would be a sustainable margin to look forward to in the, in the coming uh, quarters? No, no. We, we told for the current year, we are expecting 16% margin. The per kilo basis for a particular segment of the business of the company and plastic pipe, as I told, the business was lower of PVC pipe and fitting and where PVC pipe principally and polythene pipe, where the per kilo margins are always lower and those business have mostly shrunk. So for the remaining business, the margin definitely will go up. So I think this part I, I replied several, already uh, very clearly. What more clarification I require? So much, can you understand what is more clarification required? No, no. This is the right answer because of the product mix. Since the PVC pipes have been sold very less and there's a volume degrowth, so other product of the piping division or the product division, which are bringing better valuation, has shown that the per kg improved EBITDA. Okay, got it. <clears throat> uh, so secondly, on your uh, working capital, and so again, we are seeing cash uh, balance going down um, to around 150 crores, from 300 crores. I just wanted to understand uh, the reason for this, despite despite the 300 crore EBITDA generation this quarter. Working capital went up so high because the business what we lost, we have prepared the product in our uh, in our plants and from the market. So we had a loss in business of around 350 crore rupees. When the 20,000 ton quantum we sold less, it resulted into a loss in turnover of 350 crore rupees. And the 350 crore rupees were added as a fish goods in our go down. So that's why our working capital requirement has gone up. We have to store the goods. There was no demand at, at the month of November, December. Not it. So lastly, if you can just highlight the capex uh, this quarter. Sorry? Uh, the, the money spent for uh, your capacity expansion this quarter. Up till now, we have invested 344 crore rupees. We have paid for it. Okay. In nine months, we paid 344 crore rupees. Okay. Got it, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Sailesh with BNK Securities. Please go ahead. Yeah, uh, good evening, sir. Uh, thanks for the opportunity. Uh, my questions are uh, pertaining to Supreme Petro. Sir, as per market data, a uh, significant expansion in uh, PS and SM spread in 3Q. But we are yet to fully witness the spread improvement. Uh, what are the reasons, sir? And also, could you please share the uh, business? Can, business you, can, you, can you please repeat your question because your voice was not clear? Yeah. yeah. So as per the market data, we have seen significant expansion in polystyrene and uh, styrene monomer spread in 3Q, uh, 3Q last quarter. But we are yet to fully witness the spread improvement. So what are the reasons, sir? And also, if you could uh, please share the business mix between uh, spot and the contract. What is the average contract period with the customers? I don't know. For the uh, original equipment producer, we have got annual contract for supplying a polystyrene to them. 
and for trade market day by daily basis as per the requirement. And BJC around 45% with the original equipment producer, 55% with the trade market, arms and export. Okay. And how the demand is there with the original equipment producer for consumer appliances? Mm -hmm. And numbers are not before me, but we are mm -hmm. getting requirement of all original equipment producer. All the non-brands, we have got annual contract with them. Okay. Sir, how is the volume and uh, pricing trend, sir, now in fourth quarter? On polystyrene? Yeah, polystyrene, EPS. Both are fully sold out. Okay. We are running plants fully and we are fully sold out also. Okay, okay. My second question, in March ABS, uh, we are going for two phases of uh, expansion. So what is the total capital we are going to uh, deploy, sir? And okay. also in this new... Yeah. What total? Uh, total uh, capital we are going to deploy in Mark ABS. Including working capital, will you invest 850 crore rupees? Uh, both the places put together, sir. Uh, both the line together with the working capital and infrastructure. Okay. okay. We'll be investing 850 crore rupees up to March 2025. From now. Okay. We started investing money now. Okay, okay. So, what is the capacity utilization in PQ, sir? And also, if you could share the volume data for each of the product vertical, in PQ or nine months would be very useful. Polisher? Yeah, all the product verticals, EPS, uh, PS. No, yes, I don't have data with me of the, uh, each of the product. I don't have data of the product. I don't have capacity utilization number, sir. As I showed, uh, the plant is running fully and we are fully sold out. Okay, okay. okay. What plant can produce, we are producing. Okay, okay. Okay, sir. Yeah, thanks. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Rajesh Ravi with HDFC Securities. Please go ahead. <clears throat> yeah, hi, sir. I have a few questions. First on the channel inventory impact, which is there in Q3. So what could be, you know, the impact if you could quantify in terms of volumes? For channel uh, demand growth, no, in, in our, our plastic piping system, we've got 1,247 distributors mm -hmm. throughout the country. Okay. And distributors also got many big semi wholesaler and retailer. And the destocking took place throughout the chain. Mm -hmm. Such a big drop in prices in such a short period. People were mm -hmm. scared and people were expecting that heaven is going to fall. PVC is going to crash further and further. And which happened also that after drop of November is about 25 rupees kilo, the prices went on dropping. Up to 70 January, they dropped further by 8 rupees kilo. Okay. But now the drop is installed. There's no product will be available. The price in the open market started going up. And and we are getting full order now from my customers. Mm -hmm. No issue. Okay. Okay. So uh, in January, are you seeing that demand numbers picking up? Uh, how has been the commentary for you in January? First half, first half, I said you got to get a sad story. Up to 17 January. Okay, so up to 17 January, the situation has been... I'm talking for the quarter. No, no, understood. You're saying that because prices have just now stabilized, uh, you expect the things to recover and the uh, lost channel inventory numbers should get back into the system. Yes, and, I Okay. And... Uh, also, could you quantify how much was the PVC price hike taken during the quarter? What was the price uh, passed into the system? PVC price started rising from the month of June 2021. Mm -hmm. It went up over a period by up to end October by 44 rupees a kilo. Mm -hmm. And the 44 rupees kilo now went down by 33 rupees a kilo. Okay. So now as on 18 January, they are still higher by 11 rupees a kilo. 
then the price is what they were there in the month of june 2020 one okay No, no. I was asking more from the third quarter perspective uh, because your realization, hello, your realization is impacted because of the product mix change quarter on quarter. So, just wanted to understand, ki on like to like, how much price change was there for the, you know, on a quarter on quarter basis in the PVC segment for you? Your realization. We have taken you to the whole path of the PVC price change. Start from July, the price went on increasing monthly two times, three times, went up to 44 rupees a kilo by end of October. And come first November, they started dropping. First mm -hmm. November, 70 January, they dropped by 33 rupees a kilo. Mm -hmm. Yet they remain 11 rupees higher than what it was in the month of June 2021. <clears throat> okay. And okay. There and is no possibility of prices going down for time being unless. The freight rates of goods arriving from Asia to India go down. Mm -hmm. They are very, very high. Okay. And one last question. Shipping freight rate. Okay. And sir, one last question on the... Hello? Yeah, please. Yeah. One last question on the annual guidance which you said that, you know, north of 1200 crore EBITDA for the full year. Uh, that would imply that is in fourth quarter number could be weak year on year versus because last year you have already achieved uh, 510 crores of a bitta. We said we have done 5100 crores now in the nine months. Nine months we did 5275. No, no, a bitta, console a bitta. Uh, you have done 50, uh, 510 crores uh, for the last, uh, sorry, in the March quarter last year you have done 510 crores a bitta. That I, I remind dear friend that our that was an inventory gain of one eighty crore rupees. Okay. In the last year, fourth quarter, there was inventory gain of one eighty crore rupees. <laughs> okay. When I gave you the number for the full year with the operating margin, you can calculate mm -hmm. now. When I say the profit can be around one thousand two hundred crore, the mm -hmm. for the fourth quarter it cannot remain five hundred crore. Correct. It has to be lower than that. It has to be now. Already, if we try to become 850, what I'm saying is that it may be 350 crore rupees. Correct. Okay. Great, sir. I'll come back in queue. Thank you. Thank you. The next question is from Archal Lohari with JM Financial. Please go ahead. Yeah, good evening, sir. Thank you for the opportunity. Uh, so my question was, uh, yeah, if we understand it correctly, uh, till October, the demand was pretty good. Uh, November, December, there was a significant uh, deceleration. This is about plastic pipe segment, sir. So, uh, uh, and and uh, is it that uh, the demand... Uh, first, I correct you, first I correct you, there was no demand, was not quite good. I said the prices went up in October by 20 rupee kilo. So that's why October working, there was no, no loss. Right. October, the demand was maintained. Because at such a high price, the demand started sinking. So there was no growth in October, but no degrowth also. Now was the similar disaster. Right. So yeah, is it fair to say that the entire, uh, I mean, the pressure on volume uh, for us is more uh, or is entirely because of the uh, volatile PVC prices, or do you think there was a deceleration in the end demand as well, X of agri, sir? No, demand with my stockage was there, they could be empty down the ground. My stockage was included their stocks. They okay. Could empty their ground in the two months. Right. Okay. Understood. Understood. And secondly, any. Uh, guidance for FI23, so you talked about FI22. Uh, any color in terms of volume growth uh, margins you would uh, look at on a normalized basis, assuming no further lockdowns or stable PVC prices? Not in the of April, not today. Oh, we're talking. Understood. Uh, thanks so much, sir. I'll come back in the queue. Thank you. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Abhishek Ghosh with DSP Mutual Fund. Please go ahead. Yeah, thank you for the opportunity, sir. 
sir uh, last time when the pvc prices were quite high uh, you had mentioned that you know the agri demand could get impacted because of people opting for lower tonnage lower lower dia pipes now with pvc prices having corrected off do you think that risk is gone out of the system any thoughts we are optimistic i told you we are optimistic we said what to demand we have lost we will recover okay 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 and uh, sir the other thing is in terms of if you can broadly talk about your capacities uh, in terms of individual segment if uh, if you all can give that so i can help me yeah the capacity we said in the last, our opening capacity which was there 697000 metric ton now unfortunately our all the new plants the assam odisha and irod all three have delayed from the point of view and they will come into production safe some somewhere from march to august or april to august so the new capacity what we were contemplating by end of this year will get deferred to the june july august period and the downfill expansion whatever we have made it would result of hardly 8 to 10000 ton capacity additionally in during the current year so the our opening capacity which was there 697000 ton will not go beyond 710000 effective production capacity if you look at current year with all these thing new capacities large capacities are coming up consisting of around 1 lakh ton per annum will be in place only from august 22 onwards okay so first half of fy 23 you should be at least moving to something like 8 lakh ton kind of product yeah when was all these things are there then yes okay and we don't envisage further delay in the uh, capacities coming on stream no now everything is in the line things are working well concession are in the full swing we believe the covid pandemic may become endemic if we if there part we go wrong and if suppose covid fourth we have fifth we come more more severe than covid level 2 then we may go wrong again okay 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 and sir if you can just talk about your whole uh, 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 you know because you are broadly if you just see the current run rate you are operating at you know broadly 50% utilization and next year another 1 lakh tons of incremental capacity will come through so how do you look at the utilization from a more 2 to 3 year perspective uh, what is a Uh, achievable number given the overall, and I'm not talking about quarters from a two to three year perspective. Any thoughts? No. For the annual part, we can talk in the month of April next year. This year. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Yes. And uh, sir, the other thing is in terms of, uh, uh, you know, we are hearing a lot of things around the whole BS now implementation, which was to get implemented some time back, it again got pushed back. Sir, any thoughts on on that from? Jobs that, that was not applicable to our company. We make BS product. No, I was more coming from the sir the competitive part because the competition the unorganized uh, would have got weaker. Any thoughts from that perspective? Uh, uh, in terms that of that market also there is a market they will live non BS and BS both will live together. Okay. The market okay. there are cheaper product and there are people for requiring. Uh, low uh, low application that people will go for cheap product when they sell on kilo basis 80 rupees 70 rupees kilo basis that market will also continue to uh, operate in the country and our type of buying powers are there okay. we believe they will also run we will also run for that and sir so just one last question uh, again when the pvc prices were elevated there was lot lot of shortage of pvc material and that is why some of the uh, you know smaller scale players were not able to procure that uh, you think that with the pvc price correction now and things are avail- availability improve those players are again coming back into the system are you seeing that at the market we are not aware that they were not able to get the material we are not aware that was only a news item we were not aware okay Yes. The players were playing. They are in the. They are in the business. Sure. Okay, sir. Wish you all the best. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Vitesh Shah with Investec. 
please go ahead uh, hi sir thanks for the opportunity sir you indicated 850 crores of capex till march 25 uh, sir can you please uh, uh, indicate how much of this capex is already done uh, how much of it basically will be for next year and year after and corresponding to that how actually the capacity will actually move on a year end basis Uh, so I think you indicated around eight lakh tons of capacity on March 23 basis. If you can give equivalent numbers for March 24 and 25, ah, uh, it will be great. No, there are two investment. We were already in midst of 260 crore rupee investment in expanding capacity of polystyrene and expanding polystyrene. No, yes, Mr. Supreme. Both will be operational yes, by. Petrochemical. Yes, I know Supreme Petrochem, na? No, no, Supreme no, Industries. Supreme Industries, sir. industry sorry sorry pitch so my apology pitch no problem sir no. uh, yeah see pre ask what is the point where asking supreme industry uh, sir my question was you indicated around the cap- capex of 850 crores uh, till march 25 so i yes, wanted to understand supreme petro came when you gave number of h p then only i start talking supreme petro and now you say it is no. supreme industry Uh, so okay so sir for supreme industry i think the number was 750 crores uh, if i remember it right uh, is that number right no supreme industry is supreme industry no no supreme industry this year we have we are making commitment about 520 crore rupees capex we made investment commitment but we have invested up till now 344 crore rupees that's what i told and i repeat same correct. thing correct correct so, sir, every, every year to to continue the momentum of growth every year we will be required to spend about 300 350 crore for that maybe even 400 crore rupees we can afford to invest now correct so uh, sir just to get it right fy22 520 crores of which we have done 344 crores next year the number that we are looking at is 300 to 350 crores is that correct so i just told 344 crore rupees we have already paid for correct december 21 Correct. And some more money will be invested in this January bath quarter also to build Correct. new plants at so many location. And the plants, as my colleague I told you earlier, the plants will be operational by August 2022. Two. Correct. <coughs> Correct. So, sir, how much will be the capacity on March uh, 24 basis and on March 23 basis? March 23 basis only can talk now. March 24 basis, so we don't uh, we have not nothing, no plan today. March we can talk March 23 basis. So why can you tell March 23 basis? Yeah, this is why I mentioned in my earlier uh, answer. Our capacity of about one lakh metric ton for these three plants, which are already in the construction, will come by August 22. So our capacity by end of March 23 should be in excess of eight lakh metric ton per annum. Sure, sir. That's that's useful, sir. Great, sir. Thank you so much for the answers. Thank you. This helps. Thank you. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Madhav Marda with F I L. Please go ahead. Yeah. Hi, sir. Good evening. Uh, thank you so much for your time. Uh, I actually did not want a specific number for volume growth in the future, but. just any comments on like if you look at a two year view for demand across our various end markets like housing agri uh, and the government projects around um, <coughs> jal jeevan mission etc if you were to just just uh, how, how what is what's your sense on in terms of demand sentiment if you take a two three year view uh, for the country for the plastic cycle thank you we, we believe the economy we should grow by 10% minimum by volume next year But too early to talk next year now because the pandemic situation is not very clear. Better we talk in the month of April. Okay, okay, got it. All right, sir. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Mohammad Mudassar, an investor. Please go ahead. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Yes, sir. Sir, uh, regarding Supreme Petro, sir, this new capacity of PS and EPS, which is going to come up in the next uh, quarter or or in Q1, sir. So, so uh, as you said that the PS and EPS are currently running at full capacity. So, sir, can you just uh, give us a 
a uh, view that it's so how many years can it take for this new f- capacity to fill up what will be the demand drivers and which industries are you seeing strong demand in no eps uh, pollution our new capacity 90000 ton yes now operation by june july uh, this year and eps also by that time and eps we are going to add 30000 ton new capacity So, sir, uh, like, uh, when will it? Uh, how much time do you think it will take to come to full utilization? Like, uh, in terms of like this current once capacity is at operating full capacity. Once you start the plant, you can run the plant fully, depending on how the market develops. So, we will be okay. now moving more to export market, which we are now uh, exporting lesser quantity. We will move more to export the product. Okay. Let me see the situation. How the economy grows in our country in the year 22-23. The forecast mm-hmm. is good. The economy may work better in the 22-23 compared to the current year. Right. And so, so what would be the current ABS trading volumes, if it is possible? And uh, so, what is the arrangement between Supreme Better and Versalis for this mass ABS technology, if that is possible to share? Versalis is our company. We are the licensor. We are the licensee. So, is there any royalty to be paid, or what will be the arrangement? Right. Any royalty to be paid? No, no. We have to. We have to pay the license fee to them. Okay. So what would that be if very classified information okay okay thank you the next question is the next question is from the line of rajesh ravi with hdfc securities please go ahead yes rich uh could you please enumerate segment wise what will be the plastic capacity plastic pipe capacity by march 23 this is these expansions and similarly industrial packing and consumers sorry yeah <coughs> plastic piping division you see with this capacity of this three plant coming to place the plastic piping would be about 575 okay thousand. industrial product close to 85000 metric ton which is 71 currently jana was yeah and packaging products will be close to 90000 okay consumer products close to 35000 35000 okay and sir uh, is it possible like uh, what is the capex intensity for all these uh, all these four segments like for every 1 uh, lakh ton capacity in the plastic pipe what sort of capex is required broad numbers and similarly for other three segments capex depend on what product we are going to make so mm-hmm. with the nothing like on tonnage basis depend on product to product some product may require less capital some product may require more capital okay so we cannot quantify per ton how much capex required is not possible to say depending on what we we finally decide to put for okay okay uh, and sir uh, again on the same capex front like for 300 to 400 capex uh, which you expect to spend annually you know that would potentially add what sort of capacity to your company every year Okay. capacity capacity depends upon the brownfield or greenfield project mm-hmm. greenfield don't get the capacity but then you have to spend more but what yeah. we generally says ki our capex new capex should give once it is fully operate or come into operation mm-hmm. about 1 uh, 1 rupee to 1.5 to 2 rupees turnover against 1 rupee okay. invested right so 1.5 to 2 rupees turnover should one should get Okay, this is on fixed capital investment. You are saying 1.5 to 2 x term. Correct. Okay, great, sir. Uh, thank you for taking my questions. Thank you. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Keshav Lahoti with HDFC Securities. Please go ahead. Hi. Thank you. My question is already answered. Okay. Thank you. 
Thank you. As there are no further questions, I would like to hand the conference over to the management for closing comments. We thank you very much for very analytical question. We thank you for your patience. So thank you, everyone. Thank, thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank On behalf of Dam Capital Advisors Limited, that concludes this conference. Thank you for joining us, and you may now disconnect your life.